I already know what you're thinking. Brendan, do not upload another video until you get caught up with those listings. But trust me when I tell you, I got 15 done this morning. I'm probably gonna do another 15 before the day is over. I'm getting myself caught up, but that does not mean that I am not gonna take you out to the thrift stores and do a little bit of shopping. What's going on everybody? It is Brendan, the channel is Dad Planet, and you are watching the one man show. We're gonna shop until we drop because that's what we do here on this channel. So let's hit a couple of thrift stores. I've got a few really interesting items. Some of them have been fast sellers, some seasonal. I have a hat bolo that I really want to show you. I'm excited to feature that for you. And a few other things in between in hopes that you know, you'll find these things resell them as well, make a ton of money, and it's a win-win for both of us. So yes, we're gonna go shopping, and yes, I promise you, I will get caught up on those listings because again, I probably should not be in stores, but I can't help myself, and I'm dragging you along. Let's get moving. All right, we're gonna hit a small store first and I grab a bag of dolls here. So I see Ever After High Dolls and I'm not really familiar with them. And I did the comp research and it looked like a couple of the dolls in that bag were worth maybe $20, $25. And so that is what excited me because the bag was only $5, I think. But there is a Bratz doll in there that I've actually listed and already sold for $20. And she is Bratz Girl's really rock star Chloe. You can't really see her in the bag there but she sold for 20 bucks and you know if the other two sell for 20 each that's a 60 dollars bag of dolls right there that uh, only cost five bucks so that was a great way to start off this little trip here next horse bit style shoes are in style and in demand right now so always pay close attention to them i passed up on the cole haunts but grabbing the hey dudes they're all over the place now that i know that they are a bolo these are wallies um, brown walnut color with a plaid interior. I think men's, yeah, men's size 10. And I'm gonna list these for $30. They sell pretty easily brand new in the $60 range. So it's all the rage right now. I'll take it and it's just a matter of time. I'll probably accept an offer of 25 if an offer were to come in or I send offers out. So two uh, great finds in a store that was totally empty and that doesn't usually happen. So I like had the pick of the litter. Unfortunately, I just couldn't find anything that uh, I was satisfied with other than those two. So I moved over to another store and I'm checking the hats and thank goodness I did because this one had a bunch of resellers in it, but I found a Polo Sport hat and I want you guys to um, pay attention to the logo on the inside. So Polo Ralph Lauren, it's a sportsman hat and these go for really good money. I have a downhill skier variation. It looks small, like the leather band on the back looks small and that looks like makeup. So I think maybe this was a woman's hat, even though I'm gonna market unisex. Um, the leather strap in the back is a little bit tiny and I don't think that it was cut, but I'm gonna list this hat for $100. The comps for Polo Sport Sportsman hats are unbelievable. So I feel like that was a decent find and you know I'm gonna list high, take my chances. We got winter coming up and where there is smoke, there is fire. So I'm digging through the rest of the hats to make sure that there's nothing else in there that's vintage and valuable. But usually, you know, where there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. Unfortunately, I just found the one. I shouldn't say unfortunately though, because it's a hundred dollar hat. Next, very fast seller right here. Jemmy Floating Grim Reaper what was the price on that. I think they wanted $7 for that. It looked brand new in the package. And when I was looking at it originally, I couldn't really figure out where the batteries go. It goes in one of those tubes. So when I got it home, I opened up the battery compartment. Everything was clean. It was working, the lights and the sounds. I didn't uh, put the whole thing together, but this, this sold really quickly too. I mean, I just sourced it and posted this video on October 1st. And uh, I just sourced this like a day or two ago. So it was pretty fresh and it sold for $38.24. So... That was a really fast seller and it is that tube right there that has the um, battery compartment with the sounds and and all of that so tested it working great got it sold quick seller because you know we have halloween very very close if you're sourcing for halloween you have to get your stuff listed now because you are definitely running out of time there are people that will buy year round but the buying frenzy is probably going on as we speak and coming to an end so Next thing here is a Disney Parks. This is the, like a poison apple Halloween bucket. The And you can see they want $4 on it. The problem is it's missing the top. Like it, the top is lighted. The lid 
is lighted, it was broken off. So these are like $150 to $250 when they sell. There's a green variation, there's a purple variation, but this orange variation is pretty rare. So I'm gonna list mine for 50, even though it doesn't have the top. I mean, it's still fun. And here I'm like digging through, you know, all of this stuff to see if I can find it. I could not find it, but um, it still has a function, right? Somebody can still use it for Halloween. So I'm gonna list that at 50 just because it is rare, even though the lid is missing. Next thing I find right here, this is a pretty massive animated Santa by the fireplace. I forget what the brand is. Smile International, I think, was the brand on this. I don't remember exactly. Um, they want $8 for it. I'm going to put it in my cart. Little puppy dog right there with the child. This was really cute. And these are these can sell for a, a big, big profit if uh, you get them for a good price like this. So I got it, tested it, and unfortunately, it, the sound wasn't working and uh, the tree didn't have any lights, so I had to return that. So that was unfortunate, but that could have been a couple hundred bucks. I'm gonna take this guy though, this uh, goofy hat, goofy mesh trucker hat, it's vintage, and I think it's Walt Disney World, yes. And it's like a, the plastic version, you'll see a softer version or like a fabric version, that's the less valuable style. So just taking to make sure that there's no tears in the ears, but I'll list that for 25 bucks, it's only gonna cost me two. And there's good resale value on that. So I'm gonna be aggressive at 25 because I've even seen some sell for the th for $30 and um, even more. So that was another nice find too. Again, just a couple bucks because it's a hat and the price wasn't marked. So yeah, that was good too. Moving over to the last store right here. I don't know, this is a nice pair of knit Brooks, but they had two, was it Brooks? Yeah, Brooks. They got too much wear on the bottoms. I don't wanna sell something like that. Just a matter of time before it pops. Good pair of Hokies here though. These are women's size nine. They're Gaviota fours. And what was the price? Okay, they want $4.99 for it. A little bit of wear on the soles, but plenty of life left in those. Very clean uppers and the midsoles look nice too. So I'm gonna list those for 50 bucks. I think that's the going rate. I didn't look this Harley Davidson helmet up. If it was 250 bucks, I totally missed it. But at $49.99, to me, it wasn't even worth getting my phone out. Could have been a mistake, like I said, it could have been two, two, three hundred dollar helmet, but I'm, I'm guessing that it wasn't. So I didn't look it up, and I passed it on. And just checking out the plush. This is a, this store is interesting that I'm in because I think it's the Volunteers of America. It's huge, and they never really have a ton of anything. So the shelves, at least in the back of the hard goods and plush like this, they're always super bare. I don't know if that's, is they just don't get as much donations as Goodwill, but. If you see something, let me know. I didn't see any plush there and just not a lot of toys, hard goods. The um, electronics didn't really have anything going on, but I like this pair of shoes so far and I like the last item that I end up picking up here in just a second. But yeah, I don't see, I don't see much in the way of toys and this is like the third or fourth trip where I've seen nothing on these shelves. I found like a, a good street shark a little while ago, but it's been a while since I found something else. Last thing here, LL Bean. This is a snow mold Yeti. It was like brand new and you had to go longer, but you had to go past 90 days to find some good comps, but I'm gonna price this guy at around $55 with reasonable shipping. It comes with the box, it comes with the instructions. They want $7 for it, $55 is perfect. That's about what my um, average sales price is. So I will take him with me and uh, we're not doing too bad. If you total everything up, I, it's only $37 spent and the listed value would be $315. So I'll take that all day. Let's take a look at the Polo Sportsman hat a little bit closer here. So I'm in Terapeak and Terapeak gives you 365 days of sold comparables to go on. When you're searching the app or you're just searching through eBay solds, eBay only gives you 90 days. So using Terapeak is really important to get a bigger picture. It helps you seasonally if you're sourcing comps and you're trying to find accurate sales numbers. So we're looking at Polo Sport Sportsman hat as a keyword. And of course I have it filtered for pre-owned only. I'm not um, selecting new, but you can see the average sold price for these hats is $80. And there have been a hundred sold in the last um, year. I keep saying calendar year. I don't know. It's just the, the last 12 months for a total of uh, almost $8,000. And the styles, again, and the variations 
will vary. Like there's a Labrador here on the front here. There's a spell out version right here. So they're a little bit different. My skier, excuse me, my downhill skier, there might be a different value too, but I'm like I said, I'm going to price mine at a hundred dollars, but you're looking for that logo, Polo, Ralph Lauren, Sportsman, you know, you've probably got a high dollar hat on your hands. So pay attention to that because it's a big one. You guys remember that cast iron pan that I sourced a while ago? Here it is. I haven't touched it. Bought it for $8, but I'm showing you the condition of it now because I am going to season it. It was Wagner Ware. It is a, uh, I don't remember what the number is, number 10 on the front, but I'm going to try to clean this up. And John, I'm thinking of you specifically here. Um, once I do that, I will show you the finished result, but I want to make it aware to people that are not familiar with cleaning cast iron. If you use vegetable oil, or if you use any oil in here, make sure it's vegetable oil. Do not use extra virgin olive oil because that will burn. Trust me when I tell you, I know from experience, don't use extra virgin olive oil. But anyway, I'm going to clean this pan up in the next day or two and I'll show you the finished result. Um, hopefully it comes out nice. I am by no means an expert at cleaning cast iron, but I'll give it a try and you know, I'll, I'll try to touch it up a little bit and then maybe the person that purchases this can do a full restore. But um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll touch this guy up and I'll let you know what it looks like when it's finished. 15 more listings. I am on it. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube, we are inching closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you once again, and we will see you in the next video.